Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Miguel back again with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about, about Samsung and some of the latest news and reports that we have actually heard about them. Now, if you guys don't know, Samsung recently just partnered up with Qualcomm and uh, in one way or another ditched Exynos. Now, this is a little bit of odd news because Exynos is Samsung's own internal SOC. And it's a little bit weird for them to actually ditch Exynos and go for Qualcomm. And uh, a little bit weirder than that is that you guys kind of predicted this in the past. And I'm talking about right before the S22 Ultra was launched. According to this tweet, which turned out to be pretty accurate, if we look at the numbers, about 70% of the devices right now have Qualcomm's 8th Gen 1 chip. And only about 30% of the devices, depending on what region you're on, have the Exynos chips. Now, the big question is why? Why is Samsung actually doing this? And the first thing that comes to mind is that Samsung may actually be affected by the global chip shortage. But that actually is a contradicting statement because there are reports that Samsung, for the first time, is actually ahead of TSMC, which is the biggest chip manufacturer in the world. And TSMC is responsible for AMD chips, it's responsible for Intel chips, it's responsible even for Apple chips. And just a couple of years back, AMD actually partnered up with Samsung and there was this whole hype about an AMD collaboration with Exynos which was going to improve the GPU performance of the phones. And then all of a sudden we're hearing that Exynos is kind of out of the picture. Samsung hasn't really officially announced this, but Qualcomm has officially announced that they are going to be providing Samsung with their chips, which kind of gives us a hint that Samsung's S23 Ultra will actually be coming with uh, Qualcomm's next Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. And this may be good news for a lot of you because Exynos was actually having problems. There was a lot of reports of the performance. There was a lot of reports of the phone throttling and also not being as efficient and also draining the battery faster. So. Overall, I think a lot of people are actually happy that Samsung is taking this step. But it would be wrong to say that Samsung is actually ditching or giving up on Exynos altogether. No, 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 that's not gonna happen. Now, if you guys don't know about this, Apple recently just lost a top executive which worked very closely with Apple and on their chips for the past nine years. This was one of the top chip experts which actually also helped in developing the M series chips for Apple. Kim Wu now has been hired by Samsung and it looks like Samsung is just taking a break, just, just like Vecna. It's weak, it's, it's gonna come back. You guys watch Strange Things? Well, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back stronger than ever. And it looks like Kim Wu is actually gonna be helping Samsung in bringing a chip that most likely will be a competitor to the M series lineup or the A series lineup of Apple chips. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the video. And uh, if you guys also are aware, uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 are coming in just a couple of days. So stay tuned for that. We are gonna be doing an unboxing or a quick hands-on review of both the devices. So stay tuned for that. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.